So finally driving the Hyundai Verna guys. So Hyundai Verna, we are not driving the turbo petrol. We are driving the 1.5 liter naturally aspirated mated to a CVT gearbox. But let me show you the launch. Did you notice something? There is absolutely no lag in terms of the gear shift when it comes to CVT and the gear shifts are very smooth. You don't actually feel the gear shifts at all. So that's a pretty good thing. It's not a power packed performance variant like the Turbo Patrol. The Turbo Patrol gets 160 horses and 253 Newton meters of torque. Over there we get a 7 speed DCT but here you get a normal CVT as well as a 6 speed manual. There also you get a 6 speed manual as well. So I'm very much excited to drive and experience that sort of a power in the new Verna. But uh, the biggest highlight in the Verna again comes to the design and on the interiors while driving, ADAS features, level 2 ADAS features. And it's working absolutely brilliant because you know I'm driving on the highways and if I take the, my hands off from the car also, the car is responding superbly. Automatic braking is working perfectly. 100 out of 100 if you ask me. And even the lane departure warning system. And automatically the steering, you know, it goes to the right. Or else if it is towards the right, it goes to the left. It's working brilliantly. The next, uh, you know, uh, best thing to XUV700 ADAS is the Hyundai uh, Verna's ADAS system. Because when I drove the XUV700 ADAS, I told you that the ADAS features are working simply brilliant. So the same way Hyundai Verna's features, uh, ADAS features are also working simply brilliant. Sometimes it, you know, you need to uh, understand the car and understand how it detects the lane and all because that's pretty much important. And in the uh, 1.5 liter naturally aspirated uh, variant, we get three drive modes, which is the eco, normal and sport mode. We are obviously driving on sport mode. And let me show you how the car is getting launched once again. Okay, 6300 RPM or something is the red line. It has got a nice, uh, you know, exhaust note as well. Not uh, bad at all. So you need to give it a little bit of time for the naturally aspirated petrol to bring up that uh, peak power. It makes 115 PS of power and 153 Newton meters of torque as well. Uh, sorry, 144 Newton meters of torque. Uh, the power and torque figures are slightly on the lesser side, but it has got a power packed uh, uh, variant as well. If you want a more sportier version of the Hyundai Verna, it has got a power packed version as well. But overall, this car with all these features and ADAS features and uh, absolutely brilliant space on the interiors, this is such a good car to buy because the price introductory prices starts from around 10.89 lakhs and it goes all the way to almost 17.8 lakhs or something so you know there is a difference in terms of pricing when it comes to the variant and when it comes to the uh, you know uh, engine options as well but we don't get a diesel in the new Verna overall uh, it's 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 a nice car because uh, there are so many additional features when you compare this car with the Skoda Slavia or even the Honda City or even the uh, Volkswagen Virtus. But uh, you know this is more this is looking more futuristic. This has got more options, more features. Uh, so uh, good to live with the car. Uh, I am actually driving on a very bad road currently, and the suspension setup and the comfort level is actually very good you don't feel that you know uneasiness at all it's supremely comfortable the suspension tuning in the Hyundai Verna is done very well I should say because you know um, spoiled with all sort of compact SUVs we 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 have a thought that you know sedans offer uh, pretty much uh, bad uh, experience when it comes to tackling bad roads but not like that the Hyundai Verona is a very good example that it offers a very good experience when it comes to bad roads as well. And one thing which is missing is that the 360 degree camera is missing and the driver side uh, seats are getting electric options, electric power adjustments but not the co-passenger side. So they will have to adjust the seats manually but other than that, a very good car. Let me change the drive modes once and see if there is any difference in terms of uh, uh, let me put it on eco mode so the throttle inputs are 
very smooth when you put it on eco mode and uh, there are absolutely no complaints you get a decent efficiency i'm not i'm not uh, this is a very short drive so i'm not commenting about uh, the uh, fuel efficiency or any of those stuff but such a, a good car to drive uh, this is only available in petrol so if you are looking for a city car which is you know uh, if you want some different experience when it compared to that of the germans like you know the versters or even the um uh, slavia then this is a brilliant car for you you get enormous amount of space not just on the interiors even on the boot you get 528 liters of space so what else you want so you know your family also will be happy when it comes to the all these features and the space offers and offering and all those things <coughs> so i will be soon driving the turbo petrol variant as well so i will uh, i'll i'll bring out another video so this video you might be only seeing as a different video when it comes to the drive experience and earlier i have done a walk around video because you know there as there there is an embargo in the drive experience so currently we will be this will be coming up as a separate video so overall uh, this is how the normal looks and i am pretty much impressed with the cvt because the drawbacks of the CB, cvt is been sorted out it's pretty smooth and uh, fast and even the gear shifts are barely noticeable so uh, if you want the normal uh, verna you can very well go with this cvt option or else you can choose the 6 speed automatic normal uh, manual as well but if you want a no more uh, you know authentic sporty variant in terms of the looks in terms of the uh, uh, performance as well then very well you can choose the turbo petrol and there is no more 1 1 liter turbo in the verna gets 1.5 liter turbo so the performance will be little more better when it when you compare it with the venue and all so overall this is my drive experience with the hyundai verna